Good evening, everyone. I am Helen Asfau, and I'm a Power Bay developer. I'm here today to present my most recent project, U.S. COVID-19 vaccination progress. First, let me give you an introduction of my project. Coronavirus, or SARS-CoV-2, was discovered in uh, December 2019 in Wuhan, China. This virus outbreak has been dramatically changed our lives and our relationships over the past few years. As we all know, since the pandemic started, as we all know, since its discovery, the virus has spread globally, causing millions of diseases. It had a wide impact on the lives of people around the world as well as the economy. Obviously, we all remember when the virus included social distancing, lockdown, isolation, and quarantine. Parents working at home were trapped indoors for weeks with their kids found the experience to be exhausting and overwhelming. The sudden change caused a high amount of stress to everyone. Many migrants worked deprived of their work and daily income had difficulties in returning to their places of the origin. The economic implications of the coronavirus on the U.S. were going to be drastic. Because of this reason, more, more than because of this reason, more than 30 million Americans had filed for unemployment. Let me ask you this: Before the pandemic, did you ever had a difficulty time finding a toilet paper or hand sanitizer in a store or online? Well. The imbalance of supply and demand for products around the world had experienced tremendous movement. The COVID vaccine have kept more than 18.5 million people in the U.S. out of hospitals and saved more than 3.2 million lives. Since the COVID-19 vaccine distribution began in the U.S., more than 610 million ha does have been administered. According to my data, 69% of the total population have been fully vaccinated and about 74 people had received at least one dose of the vaccine. Now that I have given you the introduction of my project, let me explain about the purpose. The purpose of this project is to give us an idea of how many people have gotten partially or fully vaccinated. This is my data dictionary looks like. As you see, I have my main table, which is my VAX table and some other dimension table, region and uh, population, and also my date table and my measure table. When we go to my KPIs, as you can see, I have five main KPIs and I, I have built this project based on this five main KPIs. And these are the VAX per, per, uh, VAX per months which is the average number of people mentally vaccinated, fully vaccinated percentage, which will give us the total number of people fully vaccinated divided by the total population, men's over men's vax per percentage, day over day total vaccine distribution, and day over day people vax uh, percentage. So this is my uh, 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 dashboard screenshot looks like. And now let's go to the dashboard and see how it works. Uh, as you can see from this dashboard, I have one slider on the top right, and this slider will cover from January 12, 2021 until August, 20, August, August 10, 2022. And I have uh, two uh, line in stack column charges, and one waterfall chart and shape map, and also my five main KPIs on the left side. And as you can see, we can analyze the data by uh, region and months, by state and population, by region, uh, by year and months, by state and population, by region, and also by uh, uh, VAX comparison on the left side by using the, uh, the four percentage KPIs. So uh, every arrow, uh, every, every green arrow will indicate that the uh, uh, vaccination is increasing in the uh, Red arrow will indicate that the vaccination is decreasing. Let's test our theory. If we want to look at the data by a region to see that the highest region, and we can click on the northeast and see that the 77% of the total uh, northeast uh, population got region uh, vac got fully vaccinated. And also, if we want to uh, see the data by a state, we can click on uh, as an example on Vermont and see that 
83% of the total population got fully vaccinated, and this is the highest uh, uh, vaccination rate from other states. And the men's over men's box percentages got dropped, like you see at right here, 63.42 percent. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Let's talk about the uh, um, uh, positive and negative insight of this analysis. As you can see, uh, 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 we can take um, men's over men men's over men's box percentage and see on March 2021, 20, uh, as you can see in the, on March 2021, 83.25% increased by, uh, on March 2021, uh, the vaccination rate, the men's over men's vaccination rate increased by 83.25% uh, on the total of 49 million individuals got uh, fully vaccinated. And this is 123% and above the nationwide which is an average of 22 million. When we see the uh, negative inside, we can take the uh, fully vaccine percentage. In most states, the fully uh, vaccination percentage got dropped, uh, got slowed or decreased. And uh, especially, especially states like Wyoming and Alabama, as you see, Wyoming is 51% and Alabama got 52% respectively, and this is the lowest rate, and it, it will make it a, a negative inside. And uh, as you see, after April 2021, uh, the vaccination, the fully vaccination got decreased, the number is decreased, and um, from uh, after uh, from May 2020 uh, 21 until August 2022, the vaccination decreased by 10 percent to 1 percent. And as I mentioned earlier, after April 2021, the vaccination decreased. And the reason for this is um, the reason for this is uh, the false information in the rumors are spread. Uh, throughout the world, it would persuade many people to skip that the vaccination and add, uh, the vaccination shot. And additionally, rural uh, residents are um, uh, uh, more likely. Uh, rural residents are more likely, less likely to be uh, vaccinated against COVID nineteen and uh, uh, than urban urban residents. At the end, I do have some. Uh, uh, at the end, I do have some um, a recommendation. Together, we can achieve more. So please do your part by getting vaccinated. And uh, especially for those states who are uh, behind on their vaccination, they should double down the attempts to get more people vaccinated. And if you travel, please uh, uh, wear high quality masks, mask and uh, keep your social distancing and avoid crowds. And if you are travel, please wear high quality mask and make sure you know your results before your travel. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation. Thank you. Uh